friends, I hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining us for today's devotional. Uh, I pray that God is keeping you and your family safe wherever you are. Well, today I'd just like to share some encouragement from the book of Acts, Acts chapter 16. It's a story of Paul and Silas who had been arrested and beaten and thrown into prison. And I'll read from verse 25. It says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. Friends, there is power in your praise. We can learn something so profound from Paul and Silas here. You see, in spite of the fact that they were in prison, they chose to praise God because they knew that he still had the ability to turn their situation around. And I know that today, maybe some of us are feeling overwhelmed with so many emotions. You know, there's so much happening. You turn on the TV and there's nothing encouraging to see there. Or perhaps some of us are actually have been affected by, by the pandemic that's going around, directly or indirectly. And we're filled with all sorts of emotions of doubt and fear and anxiety. Friends, I want to encourage you today. Choose to praise. Because when we praise, God intervenes. Today, let's find something to be thankful for. Let's find something that we can be thankful to God for today. In the book of Philippians, he tells us, rejoice in the Lord always. And I'll say again, rejoice. Our circumstances might change, but our God is the same. He is faithful. He is loving. He is still the same healer, still the same provider, still the same protector. Like the psalmist says, he is our ever-present help in time of need. When you praise, God intervenes. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for every single one of your children all around the world. We thank you for we know that you love us. Regardless of what we are going through, you love us all the same. And so today we just want to encourage ourselves in your promises and in your word. And we choose to rest in the assurance that you have every single thing that we are going through under control. So where there's heaviness of heart, I pray that you give us peace. Where there's discouragement, I pray that you encourage us. Where there is sickness, I pray that you stretch forth your healing over us. And I pray that we will find hope and comfort in you and in your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you.